Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. It's been a long time since I've been sitting in my beauty room. Maybe it hasn't been that long. The thing is, I pre-filmed my last makeup video, so it's been like a long time since I've actually sat in here and filmed. I'm doing that today. But today's video is gonna be a fun video and something I've never done before. I'm gonna be trying out this super, super, super viral foundation hack. I guess it's a hack. It's just kind of like a way of doing foundation. So there's this girl, her name is Meredith, and she has a super fabulous 7.2 2 million followers and it's an all makeup page on TikTok. I love it. I follow her. I think she's great. She's so good at makeup. She's so beautiful, but she does her foundation in a really unique way and has really caught the eye of a lot of people. I'm not the first person to try it out and do this video. <laughs> I know a lot of people have. I actually recently watched Snitcheries and I watched Stephanie Toms. I checked those two out and they did a great job of trying it out. So I'm going to do it in my way. I'll roll the clip for you, but she, girl, she goes in with foundation. I have never seen someone put this much foundation on their face in my life, but every time she finishes her makeup, it literally looks flawless. You guys, I'm kind of nervous to do this because I, throughout the years, have actually been going towards a lighter makeup, not heavier makeup, but her makeup looks so good. I feel like this makeup would look good, especially like a stage makeup, picture makeup with a flash. Whenever you wear like lighter makeup and a lighter lash, and you're taking like intense pictures with a flash, it will make your makeup like vanish. So I feel like this makeup would be perfect for that, but even in a studio setting, you're gonna be shooky when you see how much makeup I'm gonna put on my face, okay? I've never done that this much before. So I'm really curious to see how it's gonna turn out. I'm really nervous doing this and I am gonna do a wear test so I'll wear the makeup for a while with you guys. I'm nervous. But with that being said, be sure and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet for all kinds of videos. You really just never know what you're gonna get on this channel. <laughs> Click the like button if you do enjoy the video. And we are gonna go ahead and jump right in. She doesn't really show which product she's using. She more so just kind of does the tutorial, but I know whatever foundation she's using is like the fullest of full coverage. So I picked the KBD Vegan Beauty Lock It Foundation in medium 52.5 neutral. So this is the shade I picked. The thing is, Whenever you do your makeup this heavy, you have to have the right shade foundation. It can't be just a hair too dark, it can't be a hair too light. So I'm praying to the makeup gods right now that this is the right shade on me because I'm gonna be looking crazy or I'm gonna be blending this all the way down to my elbows. One of the two have to happen. So that's another tricky thing with wearing super full coverage foundation. You can't really play around with the color. It kind of needs to be exact or it's gonna be like, Hello, crazy looking. She uses two types of foundation. That's the other part. She rubs it all in with her hands. She uses no tools, love it. I wonder if she's watching this video, like girl, just go in on what I do, what I do. Rubs it all in. By the way, in high school, whenever I did my makeup, that's how I put it on. I didn't use that much. I did like two pumps. I would like rub it in like a moisturizer, <laughs> fabulous. And then she goes in with a dropper and whatever dropper she's using, I don't even see her ever use concealer. So I'm like, <gasps> So she uses a dropping foundation. Someone somewhere in her comment said, she said she uses the NYX drops, which may be true, but I couldn't find them. I also just got rid of all my makeup, so that could be part of the problem. But these are really full coverage drops and they remind me of the consistency and the finish of the NYX drops. This is just a more expensive version. Oh my gosh, I did not realize I'm using, <gasps> Look at the makeup I pulled for today. I knew I pulled the KVD locket. I, I didn't even think about this being KVD and I pulled a KVD concealer. Cause I was just thinking the most full coverage makeup and they typically are that brand. I wanted to say that but that brand. I'm sure you're at the point in the video where you're like, please get on with the look. So let's do it. By the way, she starts every video with pulling her headband up. Love it. And then she just adds her regular makeup on top. By the way, she applies the foundation with like the end of a brush or a liner pen and mixes a bunch of foundations. Would it look like a bunch of foundations together on her hand? So I'm literally gonna do the same thing. Just use the end of this. Oh, <gasps> look at that. Ooh. <laughs> Imagine this becomes like my regular routine. I'm just like, whatever. Love it. Could happen. She like puts so much on. It's pretty intense. So I'm trying to like do the same thing here. What do I do with this? I feel like I'm a kid. Mm -hmm. Hmm. You remember that thing I said about oh, it needs to be your exact color? Ah! What? Oh my God. Sweet mother of pearl. <laughs> Also, she had like really blonde I I cannot, you guys. I cannot. I have to use a different color foundation. I've already messed this up. Like, <laughs> what? 
Oh my God. Okay, let's do a take two. Okay, I'm gonna do more so what she did to try to get my shade right. I'm gonna take MAC NC35. This is the Studio Fix Fluid. So this one is just a bit warm tone and I'm gonna mix it with the Reboot from Makeup Forever. So we're mixing two together. This one's a little cool, so I think we'll meet. Look at this. Oh, it's dripping. So are we meeting in the middle with this? I don't know. It looks closer to my shade. I also have a small head, so. Now I will rub the colors in. See, this is closer. <laughs> she does her lips too. We're gonna drag it down all the way. I'm gonna have to take like a scalding shower to get this off. Oh, my brows. Oh, my hair, my baby hairs. I don't know. She even does her eyelids, so we're gonna get those. And I'm just gonna gently, really gently tap it around my hairline to try to not get it all up in my hair, but I think I'm doing okay. I don't know what I'm doing right now. If this video is not educational for you, I hope it gives you a good laugh. Okay, we're gonna be able to see some difference in skin on my scalp. My scalp skin is super light. Craziest part about this whole thing is that I have to put on more foundation with the dropper. This feels a lot better. It feels heavy, but it feels a lot better than the round one that we did. That just seemed impossible. So I am just gonna blend it into my ears as well. Oh my gosh, you guys. Tyler's gonna have to get out the power washer and I'm just gonna stand in the backyard like this and he's gonna have to like help me. I feel like I gotta blend it out. Like the color is a little, little, little warm for my skin tone, but compared to what we just went through, we're getting closer. So now I'm going to shake up these drops from KBD. This is a medium 054, please. And then she also like drops them. These are just a little thicker like that. Okay, and then she rubs them in. I'm like, okay. The thing is too, whenever you put on this much makeup, you've got to like set the craziness out of it. Like you powder it for days, cause if you don't, it is going to be sloughing and sliding everywhere. Oh my gosh, I've never had this much makeup on my neck, I don't think. Except for that time Mikey turned me into a dinosaur. Um, why is it kind of looking good? Oh my God. I feel like this uh, dropper that I put on kind of neutralized out the orangeness and color a little bit. <sighs> okay, I feel like I cannot possibly blend more in. Like it's not like blending much anymore. Look at that streak, you can tell. <sighs> oh my God. My skin is like this right now. <clears throat> like I said, would really want to set this. I don't think I need concealer either. I kind of just want to put like a dot, like a literal dot because I like when my under eyes are just a little bit brighter than the rest of my face. So it's not like all one color. So that's my only downside to not using a concealer. However, I think she does because her under eyes always look really beautiful and brightened. So see, just like that, just like a little brightness, brightness. So I'm gonna take NC35. This is the foundation powder from MAC and you just really wanna set it because I'm telling you this is gonna last for two minutes if you don't. I'm taking my L14 brush and I'm just gonna set everywhere that's not my under eye. So I'm just really pressing this powder in. Look at my brush. Ooh. And I am pressing a lot of it in and I'm sorry. I mean, I do look like a mannequin. I totally do. I mean, we can't deny that, but it like kinda looks good. Like my skin is like so it looks like I have a filter on. I mean, I get it. I get what she's doing now. Like I am with you, Meredith. I am with you on this journey. Like I I see what you've done. And do you see how like the skin tone? Well, I guess I had the foundation all the way down my neck, so. Also, I had just, it, my hair looks gray right here because I'm telling you, I have so much like powder and makeup kind of that's poofed into it a bit. So we'll just have to live with that. So now I'm gonna take the shade lighter. So this is NC25. I'm gonna use it for my under eyes. I use NC35 for my face. I'm gonna use a different brush just because that one has so much darker makeup on it. I'm going to use my powder brush. This is the L12 and it's tapered. So it's great for the under eye. And again, this is the NC25, so we are brightening. I mean, you can't deny, like, it doesn't look that bad. I can't wait to see the wear test, though. Honestly, this is gonna be, like, beautiful stage makeup, but as far as, like, an actual, like, wearing this every day, it's definitely, in my opinion, wouldn't be plausible. Now I'm gonna take the airbrush bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm just gonna stamp some on so we give our face, you see our face just looks like, 
kind of like one, it just looks like a cake face. But if you stamp a little bit of contour, you start to like gain that dimension back in your face. And believe it or not, it kind of gives a little bit more of a natural look. So I'll go ahead and stamp some of this bronzer. This is just the big one from Charlotte Tilbury. I'll link everything down below. And by the way, if you wear this much makeup every single day, like, do you? Because at the end of the day, that's what makeup is. It's an art. If you wear, like, the lightest BB cream every day, that's fine, too. This is art. It really is. It's an art, so. If my face stays stamped and, like, good after hours of wearing this, we've found the best makeup in the world because, honey, whoo! I'm going to now add some blush. I have She's Seductive from Patrick Ta. Oh, I gotta wash that. But I'm going to take my L14 brush. I'm just gonna stamp a little bit of this on. For highlight, I'm going to be using my Glaze palette. She's a dirty girl. I'm gonna use Glow Gal right here. This is a golden shade. And I'll just put some on my L15 brush. We're just gonna glaze her up. Frosted. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of setting spray. Huh, I feel like that is uh, pretty mandatory. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this. I have like the most <laughs> intense smile lines ever. You can barely see them because I have so much makeup on, but they are intense. So there will be some cracking that we're gonna run into with this. If I go to an event and I do have full coverage makeup on, I typically carry a little compact or a little brush or something and I'll dust the smile lines because they like to play games. This is the Glow Coco Hydrating Mist Spray from Huda Beauty. Mm. Yes, ma'am. So we are now set. It's like, do I need to add eye product? Do I need? Sure, why not? <laughs> I'm gonna take my Nudie Patootie palette and I'm going to grab this color right here. This is my favorite color in the palette and I know that seems so blah, but I wear this color every day. Like this is the color I start my every look with. I just, it's my favorite transition shade and it has been for years. And I'm using my L18 brush. Honestly, going into this and like my first round doing this, I was like, I don't know how she puts that much makeup on or like really makes that work whenever I use the Kat Von D locket. But whenever I put on more of a buildable foundation and kind of did this full, like super intense look with it, I totally get what she's doing and like how it looks so good. Like I get it. A lot of people actually do wear this heavy makeup. They just typically don't rub it in with their hands. I've always thought hands were some of the best tools in makeup personally so I'm all about it I'm gonna give my lashes a little curl and then I'm gonna use the Lancome ash idol <laughs> ash <laughs> lash idol the amount of makeup eraser cloths I'm gonna use tonight that's okay it'll be a fun mission getting this off I see some creasing in my under eye. I'm gonna take a little bit of the KKW Beauty setting powder in number two. I'm gonna take it on this sponge and you know, I just need a little bit more setting. I told you guys, whenever you put on this much makeup, if you don't go hand setting, it will turn into a slushy of makeup on your face. I'm not kidding. I'm gonna take a little bit of Nakey Nakey and Butt Naked and I'm just going to run it across my lash line. And then I'm gonna create just like a tiny smudged out wing with the darker eyeshadow. And I switched to an actual like tinier detail brush. I don't want it to look exactly like a wing, just like a soft blown out version of a wing. So this brush helps me get that look. So I got these little teeny tiny, it's, the Naked Lashes from Ardell. I think they're called Naked. Could be wrong, I picked them up at Target. I'm gonna apply these. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of Diamonds, which is the lightest shade in this palette. I put it on my brow ball in the inner corner like every time I do my makeup. Guys, this is intense. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows. And I'll be right back. And now for the moment you've been waiting for, I'm gonna take this off of my lips. There they are. <laughs> and I'm gonna apply some lip product. Honestly, my makeup looks so good. It's shocking. Like I shook. 
I'm gonna take Dragon Beauty pencil in lip job. And I'm just gonna line my lips. Overline a little, if you will. I love overlining. I'm gonna put on an ABH soft touch. These Anastasia lipsticks are so like thick, they feel like they rip your skin off. <gasps> it's like, it's like putting tar on my lips. I'm gonna go back in with a little liner. Okay, you guys, this is the finished look. It looks so good. Like, I am so shocked. I love this makeup. It looks flawless. You cannot see. I got freckles all over my face, and you would truly never think. Will I try this again? I probably will, honestly. Like, especially if I have something I'm doing or something I just need to be super, super, super full beat for. Like, honestly, yes. Because I'm so impressed with how this looks. I probably wouldn't wear this, like, if I was gonna be somewhere for, like, eight to nine or seven hours. I probably wouldn't wear this because I know it's not gonna look good in that timing, but... It looks good now. <laughs> and it really would if I was taking pictures um, for the gram or just like anything, going to something fun for like a shorter amount of time. So love this look. Let's wait it out now. I think it's time to jump into the wear test, which is the scariest part. So I will see you guys in a couple hours and we'll check in. Hey guys, I got my spotlight out <laughs> so we could see the real tea. We are three hours in with this makeup. I'll do two to three hours more, but we are holding steady. This makeup has not budged. My forehead through here looks just a little shiny, but I have my best line too. So if I'm a little talking weird, you know what's going on. But even my smile lines, they're cracking a little, but this is not bad for what I'm used to. It's pretty shocking. Granted, I didn't set this very well, but I'm still really surprised that it looks this good this late in the game. Pretty flawless. And I have a spotlight on my face, the camera all up on my skin, no smoothing filter. This is the real deal. Also, the lip is not going anywhere. However, both products I used, they're both really intense products. Nikita Dragon. The lip liners are so intense. Like, you had to press really hard getting them on. I'm shook, but... I'll be back with another check-in. Okay guys, it has been six hours. I am back. My bottom lip is completely off. I ate and I am way more shiny than, I mean like I am super greasy than I was before, but this is no touch-ups too. I mean, I'm literally shining. <laughs> That's not highlighter, you see. You know, the makeup looks good still. It's still like very, very wearable. I mean, my smile lines are just a little more intense, but the makeup, it's solid. I'm like tempted to wear more foundation now because of how well this worked out. I'm honestly really shocked at the results. I mean, I'm shiny, but I thought it was gonna be literally dripping off my face at this point. I'm about to go take a shower and take all this off. Wish me luck. I think I'm gonna take like literally two of the makeup erasers in the shower with me and like But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you do try this out, tag her, not me, because <laughs> this is not my routine, but I'll have all her information down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for being here watching. Be sure and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.